Hey everybody, Shams March here from the Mountain Bike Training Center. Today we're going to talk about to foot down or to not foot down. You've probably seen pro riders doing both styles, one foot down or equally weighting their feet. Again, there's not one that's wrong or right, but there are pros and cons. Let's go through these. When we go into a corner, what are we trying to achieve? Here's a couple of things to think about. Having good balance, having good control, and being able to maintain your traction. Let's talk about balance. One of the basic points that we're looking for on our bike is to be heavy in our feet, balanced over our feet, light in our hands. As we get into a corner, equal weight on our feet allows us to maintain our balance as we're leaning the bike, making the turn. We still have one foot forward, one foot back, and we're able to use our wedge position to maintain our balance. So with this, we're able to keep our balance during our entrance of the corner, through the middle of the corner, and through the exit. With one foot down, you'll still have balance rolling in, but you'll be much harder to hold that balance as you come through the entrance, through the middle, and into that exit. While cornering, we're still riding a trail. We want to remember that equally weighted feet give us good balance in all direction, and if we drop a foot, now we don't really have that balance and we're using our upper body and our arms to control our balance. For balance, I prefer having equal weight on my feet, having my balance nice and low centered through my hips so that I can control my corners all the way through. For control, we mainly use side to side movement on our bike. With the foot down technique, you get really big feedback when you stand on with one pedal. The bike wants to stand up and you have to forcefully push it down. This is a really good, easy way to feel confident on a corner. Good feedback, you're pressing through your foot, pressing on your hand, it feels solid and it feels easy to do. While it might be easier to put the one foot down, the bike is actually trying to stand up while you press on that foot. While it is possible to do these corners, you will be fighting the bike because you'll be working harder to hold it down. So with the equally weighted technique, you might feel the bike is a little loose, but it's actually just easier to move because you're not fighting it, you're balanced on your feet. The equally weighted technique is initially harder to master, but as you get more proficient, you'll be able to use this technique to have smoother and faster corners changing directions. In order to have traction, we need to have good pressure control on our tires. The foot down technique, feels like you have lots of pressure pressing through that foot into your tires. While your weight is there, it might now be hard to control that forward and back pressure adjustments on your tires. With the equally weighted technique, we're still weighting into our pedals and giving equal pressure in our tires. But now, with this technique, we're able to adjust our balance and our pressure control between the front and rear tires very precisely. To summarize the cornering techniques here, the one foot down technique is easier to do and it's a great way to start, but as you get more proficient and you're looking for performance, that equally weighted technique will give you a lot more performance and control with the traction you need. For these reasons, the Mountain Bike Training Center will focus on the equally weighted techniques and this is where you're gonna learn all the small pieces to master this technique. <laughs>